Hi, I'm Leo Vasquez from the National Consortium for Creative Placemaking. I want to thank you for your interest in a booth at the Northeast Creative Placemaking Leadership Summit. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with how booths work in in-person conferences, and you might be thinking, how do I, how do you get that experience online? Well, we have a way to do it. It's low cost, low risk. For some of you, it's even going to be free, but it's low cost, low, low risk. And it's not going to take a whole lot of your time. So in the short video, I'm going to just show you some of the features and actually show you what a booth would look like in the system that we use and also how you can go about getting a booth pretty quickly. So the benefits of having a booth are that you can connect with hundreds of civic and cultural leaders from worlds of arts, culture, public affairs, education, philanthropy. Uh, for those of you who have been to our summits, you know that uh, we attract people from all over a region, in this case, Northeast and Mid-Atlantic, as well as from other parts of the, the United States. And most of our participants are decision makers, they're executives, they are directors, managers, uh, they may be owners of their uh, uh, companies. Uh, we already have uh, more than 200 people registered. We're hoping to get to about 400, maybe even 500 people by March 25th. And our most recent statistics show that about 44% of people who participate in the summit wind up visiting the exhibit hall. Now, uh, in an in-person setting, you have to staff your booth. You have to have somebody there. To, uh, here, you wouldn't have to have that. You could do that. We give you that option. But you can, it, you'll get information about everybody, every single person who visits your booth. And if you're not there, somebody can say, I'm interested. Now, what you get at your booth, you get to show your banner. You get to show off your social media links and your, your website. You can share up to two resources, which could be one pagers or links to other websites. You can meet with people if you'd like in your booth. We encourage that. And again, as I said, if you're not there, people can write, I'm interested. There's a little button and uh, you will get that information. At, at the end, you will also get detailed statistics so you can follow up with everybody. Give you a sense uh, for us, we did the, we, we had a booth for the certificate in creative placemaking, and there were 304 people who participated in the South and Appalachia Leadership Summit in, in February 23rd and 24th. 40 of those people visited our booth, and we're going to be reaching out to all of them about the Certificate in Creative Placemaking program. So I'm gonna just show you what a booth looks like and also the system that we use. And then we'll talk about uh, the statistics as well as the cost for the game booth. As I said, some of you will be getting a complimentary booth and we'll talk about that uh, shortly. Okay, so what you're seeing here is actually the reception area for the Creative Placemaking Leadership Summit South and Appalachia Summit. Now, this doesn't look like Zoom, does it? No, that's because it's not Zoom, it's Airme. And it's, we selected this system because it provides a much more social experience, a much warmer experience than Zoom, and it fits well with it, with the approach we use uh, in our summits, which is to not just to have more than a great educational experience, but to also have a great social experience. The booths, the booths are in an area called the arena. And uh, typically on the homepage, now this session ended, this summit ended, but if it were, if it was live, uh, we would see 
little ads for the booths. So let's go to the booths themselves. The and here you can see we had 14 we had 14 uh, booths here, most of them from state arts agencies as well as from some nonprofits. Now, if we go into a a booth, and I will uh, choose uh, City of Macon, Georgia here. You see, you click on it. Now, as you can see, this is their banner. They have their logo here. There's some information. Uh, you can also have a video, an introductory video for people. Uh, now, you may not hear the, the sound on the video, but uh, the video comes out in, in HD. Very, very nice. And uh, you see these are your resources. In this case, here's a visit Macon. Go, go to the visit Macon site. Here's a here's a one pager that they did on uh, various partners uh, who are part of the Macon Arts Alliance. Uh, the city of Charleston did something very interesting, which was what they had artists meet with visitors with some of the participants. And where you do that is here in the tables. So the one of the great things about AirMeet is that you have this social experience. Um, these tables, what people can do is they can take a seat at a table. Now I'm the only person in here right now, so it won't uh, you won't see it pop up, but if there was somebody coming in, you would see it pop up like Zoom, and you'd have uh, you'd see the other person. You can have up to eight people at a table. In the case of making, what they did is their various partners each took one of the six tables, and at various times during the summit, they invited people to come and visit them with them at the tables. So you can have it be a a passive experience, a kind of a website experience, or you can have it be an interactive experience. Uh, also, you can see here that you can you can connect your website, your Facebook, your Twitter feed, uh, Instagram as well. I don't think they have an Instagram, but other kinds of social links that people can connect to so that they can follow you. Now, I've mentioned that if somebody comes to your booth and they don't see anybody, but they really want to connect with you, they can click on this yellow I'm interested button and they leave their email information. When the summit ends, I get a report, I share it with you, and it will have everybody who not only visited the booth, but also clicked on the I'm interested button. So how long does it take to, to set this up? Well, if you've got the content, it really only takes a few minutes. Um, if you've got your banner, your logo, you know what you want to, your your websites, your, your links there, um, it's very easy to set up. And as you can see, you get this really nice placement here. It's a very, you know, it's a really nice wall that people can look at. Uh, we are going to be providing a day before the summit. That's going to be on the 24th where people, where we're going to invite people to an orientation and also to encourage them to visit the booth. So you don't have to worry about competing with sessions for, for, pe for people's time. Uh, you can let people know that you're going to be, at, you're going to be at your booth by just uh, going to the chat area and that chat goes to everybody. So in the, uh, you may have a little trouble seeing it here, but for example, uh, the Alabama State Council of the Arts uh, sent a note out to everybody saying that they were available for a meet and greet uh, and to drop by. And those are the kind of things you can do and people do come and our statistics show that people do come in and visit 
with you. So, uh, the kind of statistics you get, uh, you get not only about visitor, you get their emails, you also get their behavior. Um, I also share the be the comparison with other booths so you can see how you, how you did. And it's all provided in a Google Sheet format for easier analysis. Uh, now, uh, so what are the fees we're making it as a affordable as possible for everybody. Now, if you are already a supporter of the Northeast Creative Place Making Leadership Summit, first thank you, uh, but you will get a complimentary booth. So all you have to do is just send me an email saying, Leo, I'd like a booth. I'll send you, I'll create it for you, and then you can fill, fill out the booth yourself. If you're a session leader who's bought a summit ticket, you also get it for free. Now, if you bought a ticket to the summit, uh, we're just going to charge you $100 for the whole time, for three days of the booth. Um, and then everybody else, if you haven't bought a ticket, uh, we, we're just going to charge you $100 plus the cost of your ticket. And that's for one person. Uh, if you want more than one person to be an exhibitor at your booth, uh, then we'd ask you to pay for additional tickets. So how do you do this? Well, if you bought a ticket, if you bought a ticket to the summit, uh, contact my colleague, Erica Henderson Smith, the managing director, and you'll get a link uh, to pay for you to, to pay for the booth. And then once you do that, you will get a link to create your booth. Um, if you haven't bought a ticket to the summit, just go to our website, cpcommunities.org, and uh, it'll send you to an Eventbrite page and you can pay for it right there. And again, if you are a if you are already a supporter of the summit or you are an session leader who has bought a ticket, uh, you get it for free, just let me know and I will create it for you. And if you have any other questions at all, uh, please feel free to contact me at leo at cpcommunities.org or at 973 763-6352, extension one. Thank you, and uh, I look forward to working with you and helping you reach so many more people through your booths.